Welcome to MyChart, where you can access and share your medical record, make appointments, refill your prescriptions, and much more. I'll give you a quick tour of some of its coolest features. Let's get started. First, it's important to know that you can access your medical record in MyChart from the web or a mobile device. I'm going to show you features from the web, but the experience is similar from your phone or tablet. Once you log in, you see the most relevant updates and details about your health. There's a lot you can do in MyChart. Your health feed is the place to find things like new messages, payments due, and preventative care. Looks like it's time for your flu shot. MyChart will remind you of any preventative care, and you can schedule, snooze, or dismiss them in a few clicks. You and your care team can directly communicate using secure MyChart messaging. You can get an email or text to notify you when you have a new message in MyChart. But no matter what, responses appear in your health feed. And then open in an easy-to-read chat format. Go to your message center to view all previous messages or send a new one. When you choose to send a new one, you're given a list of options to make sure that your request goes to the right place. Select the option that best describes what you'd like to message about. Sometimes you can take care of things like making an appointment or refilling prescriptions without messaging and waiting for the response. My chart will take you there. To view your recent and upcoming visits or schedule a new one, use the Visits activity. Check out your after-visit summaries to see the details of a past visit. Often called an AVS, it includes your medication instructions and any other important notes from the visit. From my chart, it's simple to schedule a visit. Let's say your doctor wants you to schedule a follow-up in a couple weeks. Click here or search for Schedule in the menu. The To Schedule section shows you the appointments you need to schedule, including that follow-up visit. You just click Schedule and pick the time that works best for you. After it's scheduled, add it to your calendar so you don't forget. If you want to be notified if an earlier appointment becomes available, get on the wait list. Save time at the clinic by completing e-check-in before your visit. When it gets close to your visit, you can get a notification with a reminder and link to check in. Update your demographics, add any insurance info, sign relevant documents, and more. You can even pay in advance. If you have a copay due or a previous balance, you can handle it right here. Some visits may even have an estimate attached, so there won't be any surprises when you get to the clinic. You can view its details by clicking here to jump to the estimates activity. After the visit, you don't need to wait for a phone call or a letter in the mail with test results. MyChart notifies you as soon as they're available. View the results to see your findings or values and whether the results are within the normal range. From here, view a graph of past results to see how they've changed over time. A full list of your results appears on your test results page. Let's take a peek at the medications activity. You can see all of your active medications. Be sure to remove any meds you're no longer taking. You can also request refills on a single medication or multiple meds at once. Moving on, let's say you just moved from out of state and want to see information from your old clinic's MyChart. You can use the Link My Accounts page to create a link to your old record so that you can review prior visits, results, and more. To access it, go to the menu, then search for Link My Accounts. On the Discover tab, search for your old clinic, then set up a link by selecting the Link Account option. You'll be asked to verify your information or enter a username and password to finish setting up the link. Once your accounts are linked, you'll see this icon next to any information that came from another health system. 
If you need to share your health record, search for Share. From here, you can assign MyChart proxy access to others. Just provide their contact information and what type of access they should have. They'll see your authorized health information when they log into their MyChart. If you have proxy access to another's health record, you can see their information right alongside yours in your health feed. It's organized and color-coded, like this. Use the button here to swap between records. Back on the Sharing Hub, directly release your health data to any provider with Internet access, no matter where you are, using Share Everywhere. The provider is sent a one-time code to see your history, medications, allergies, and more. As a patient, one of the most important things you can do is prepare for the unexpected, regardless of your current age or life situation. MyChart can guide you through this using the end-of-life planning activity. I'll search for it from the menu. In the event that a family member, doctor, or other designated healthcare agent needs to act on your behalf, you'll want your preferences clearly documented. Here you can use a question and answer format to record your decisions and preferences for medical and end-of-life care, and can request a visit with care coordinators to talk things through. If you or your care team want to track your health goals or needs, let MyChart be your care companion. Let's say that you're trying to focus on improving your health based on a recent diagnosis. MyChart can remind you of the tasks you need to do each day, like exercising or getting enough sleep. You can also create your own tasks with reminders. Before we go, I want to point out that I've used the menu to search for a few of these activities, but there are so many more available. Your MyChart homepage will highlight features here, but you can also explore what's available from the menu.